Right, well here we have a brand new AccuCraft Raglith, which is designed for garden railways. And if I lift the roof off like that, you can see the various controls in here. We've got the regulator here, we've got the gas control there for the gas tank which is under this tank and is filled through this little valve here. We've got a little cap here that unscrews for putting water in. We've got a displacement lubricator there and we've got the forward and reverse lever there. Down the bottom here is the gas burner. Uh, continuing along here we've got safety valve and um, these are just dummy tanks and inside the chimney here we've got a little exhaust pipe. Looking at the front of the loco we have an opening smoke box door here and there you can see that exhaust pipe again and um, we'll be looking at that a little bit later. Also some heat proofing on the smoke box door here. Also visible through the spectacle here, the little window, is the pressure gauge. Now a lot of people like to turn those round, but at the moment as they come they're visible through the front spectacle hole there. Just turning it round you can see here the forward and reverse lever is easily accessible and the top of the displacement lubricator there. And here we've got the drain for the displacement lubricator because it's essential to let the water out from there after each steaming. And finally the rear view and here you can see the regulator. If I just open that up so that the light comes in you can access the regulator from the back there. Right looking underneath we can see another drain here. This is in fact the blow down from the boiler so that when you fill the boiler you open this to begin with and when that pushes the excess water out down to the right level when steam comes out of there we just close it off again. Looking under here you can see the eccentrics which operate the valve gear via rockers. Here's the valves here and this central looking in here is the reversing valve and basically when you operate the reversing lever it pushes a piston in and out of that, val that valve block which allows, which changes the, the direction of the steam going into the cylinders. When we are lubricating before running, obviously the important parts to lubricate are the rockers and these eccentrics here, which you don't normally see. So it is necessary to tip the loco on its side in order to get at those eccentrics there. In the back here we have a box and if your loco is already fitted with radio control, much of it will be in there and there will be a little switch here. But the nice thing is if you want to fit radio control yourself then all the space is there ready to do it. A final thing to point out here is that this particular raglith and all of them when they're new are set to 45 gauge. Now my track is 32 gauge so I need to uh, move the wheels and you can see down here there are little dimples on the axles so you undo the scrub screw here with this Allen key that is provided and then you need to undo it quite away because it's actually in the dimple on the axle and then just ease the wheel up into position and tighten it up firmly like that, not too tight. I want to strip, strip the, the um, end and then you continue with the others to set it to 32 if that's what you need to do. When you've done them all it's worth just checking around to see all the screws are in the same distance or put a caliper, a digital caliper if you've got one between the wheels which should be about 28 millimeters back to back because I just found that this top one up, because I'm doing it at an awkward angle, I hadn't got it quite in the hole. So it was just uh, just slightly too wide. So now I've just redone that and they're both spot on. See.